What's up, guys? It's uh, Nightwalker back with another quick update here. Man, I'm definitely to the point of this project where I'm starting to feel pretty defeated and just uh, just tired. Tired's a good way of putting it. Um, all right, so the motor is uh is mostly back together. I'll give you a quick view of that. I still have to plumb up the intake uh, manifold, or rather the uh, intercooler. A um, few other little odds and ends like the Apexi uh, air filters that I bought. Um, let's see, what else? A couple of odds and ends. I gotta make sure that the fuel line is correct. Um, plumb up the boost solenoid. Just a bunch of little odd stuff that really doesn't matter right now because my main goal has shifted to getting the wiring situated, which is just, man, it is a huge nightmare. It's been a huge nightmare ever since I bought the uh, 99 engine, tried to make the 99 ECU and engine harness work, and that's just a giant no. Um, so yeah, I bought a brand new um, 93 5-speed engine harness, but even that is going to be a pain in the ass because here's, here's the thing. Uh, this was originally an automatic car, so my X05 connector um, looks just like this, basically. Um, on the automatic harness, which if mine wasn't crispy, it actually would have been a lot easier to work with, uh, the X05 looks like this. This is the um, male end of the, rather the female end of the plug. Um, this right here is a kind of like a patch harness or um, it's like an extension harness so this is factory uh, it actually plugs directly in you probably can't see this worth of crap right now but there's um, the connector right there kind of in the dark that's the actual dash side of the uh, X05 connector so I've been scouring the forums I've been reading and there's actually a clever thing that a few people have done um, is to take the female side of this automatic transmission X05 um, connector on this kind of extension harness, chop the wires off like somewhere like right about there, and then wire this into the smaller X05 um, coming off of the manual transmissions um, engine harness. Now, problem is that you gotta do that, you gotta repin everything, you also have to deal with the X14 which is different as well on the uh, automatic versus the manual. It's the same thing that there's this, it's, it's built into this original patch. There's a patch extension for the X14 as well. So, just uh, nothing about this has been easy. Let me stress that. It's, uh, don't get me wrong, most of the time I've been having fun with this, but um, I'm to the point where it's so far along in the project. Like I said, there was such a huge break where it's, there's a lot of little things working against me. Um, time was the biggest one. The lapse in between when I took all this crap apart versus where I'm trying to go back and, and start to put it all back together because I don't remember like half of what I took apart because it was so long ago. Um, and also there's the auto manual and uh, trying to make the freaking vacuum box work from the 99 since I've got 99 intake manifold and all that good stuff. So. Anyway, a lot of stuff working against me right now, um, but this is the next step is to is to try to make all this work. Now, I want to put uh, kind of a an asterisk into that statement. All I want to do right now, seriously, like for today, I will be satisfied if I can just get the car to crank by itself. Um, not start, not run, not turn any of the solenoids, fuel injection, fuel pump, any of that crap on. I just want the thing to crank because right now um, I've got a wire, I think it was the CC to EE connections on the automatic um, X05 to basically bypass the uh, starter lockout. If I can just get it to crank, I'll be satisfied and then from there I'll go pin by pin and um, get it all going. As you see, I took out the, uh, the uh, passenger seat. 
so I have some more room to basically lay down. Holy crap, this thing is dirty, man. The guy that had it before me, if you guys have been following along, the story is he, the car like sat for like six months, and this looks like it was his daily driver because ugh, this thing is just nasty, dude. I don't know what the hell that, I don't know if that's mold or what the hell that is, but this carpet's going to have to come completely out. Um, be thoroughly washed and uh, this maybe just flat out replaced because it is nasty but yeah anyway there's a what the hell is that man what the hell salt I, I don't know I don't know I found some weird stuff in cars before but anyway <clears throat> that's where I am gonna keep working and uh, hopefully have some more updates uh, I know that as I'm shooting this video, I've, I've shot like, I don't know, like five or six videos at least, um, and I haven't posted any of them, so I'm probably at some point going to post just like a series of videos, which is mostly like, hey, I said I'm going to try this, it failed, then I moved on to something else and tried it a different way and made a little bit more progress and ran into another pitfall, that's kind of how working on a car is, I mean, you see this, my garage is a freaking disaster again. Um, this is over the course of three days. It's just gotten freaking stuff everywhere. Because when you're working on things, you kind of just grab what you need, throw it down, and keep on going. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to work on the wiring, and I'll update again shortly. All right, later.